Well, one of the things I think that brought about a lot of misunderstanding on this particular one, we weren't sure that it was going to be that big until we got out there and it, it developed into something big after the officers were on the scene. Now, let me be quick to point out where I'm saying a lot of things here that might lead you to believe that uh, I'm being critical of what happened the night of the raid. And I'm being critical of the command officers there. That's not the case at all. I'm responsible for this activity in this police department, and I stand ready to be uh, the one that uh, is to be criticized for what happened out there that night. And I quite willingly accept that responsibility. These two bills would be introduced, hopefully, in the next session of the legislature, which uh, might be a special session during the summer. One bill would make it a capital offense for anyone assaulting an officer with intent to murder that police officer during the performance of his lawful duties, with a minimum penitentiary confinement upon conviction of not less than 10 years for that offense. The other bill that I propose to be introduced and hopefully put into law will be changing the law dealing with aggravated assault upon a police officer in the performance of his lawful responsibilities from a misdemeanor to a felony offense, bringing about a five-year sentence upon a conviction as a maximum term of punishment. I've also discussed this matter with Preston Parks of the Dallas Police Association and received his enthusiastic and full support for this effort on uh, our part. In addition to that, I have asked Henry Wade earlier this uh, last week or so to give top billing, top priority to all cases involving the shooting of police officers. He has agreed to do so and has assured me that these cases will be moved to the top of the list so that these cases can be tried as quickly as possible. Those are some actions underway now, which I feel are needed. And while some of the people in this community may view this as drastic action on my part, I'm convinced that it's time for drastic action in light of the fact that we are severely hampering the effectiveness of good law enforcement by permitting our officers to be shot down in the line of duty, trying to protect the citizens of our community. But anyway, that night at a quarter to 12, the phone rang again. And it, uh, Betty answered the phone again, and it was Chief Fulgham. And he asked to speak to me. And he said, uh, boy, I sure have had problems transferring these niggers tonight. And I, he said, did you see it on TV? And I said, yeah, we watched the, the march. And he said, how about me coming out there tonight? And I said, uh, I didn't know what to say, so I, I said, I looked at Betty, and she didn't know what to say with him being the chief and everything. You had to say no. So uh, I said, okay. And he said, have you got anything to drink? And I said, yes, I've, we've got uh, coffee and, and milk and tea and stuff. And he said, no liquor? And I said, no, we, we won't have any of that stuff till Christmas time. So he said, well, how about me bringing a bottle of my own? And I said, uh, no. In light of uh, the tension that does now exist, uh, we have uh, uh, decided to approach uh, this sort of a, a situation in a way that would hopefully uh, help uh, uh, hold down any problems that may develop, whether the officer is right or wrong. Uh, so in most cases, if not in all, when something like this occurs, we will move the officer on a temporary basis until we have some facts established that will reassure us and the community that that uh, move can be made back to the area with, uh, with confidence. And I do not intend to have my character marred or my mother or sister's character marred by this because a drunken old slob came out here and made a damn fool of himself. And that's the way it is, that's, uh, that's it. I don't know and I don't care really if I am or not, that's it. Mm -hmm.